Hi, I'm Miss Sarah, and this is At Home Makerspace, where every week I show you how to make fun projects with things you can find at home. This week we are celebrating Star Wars Day on May the 4th, and so I thought it would be fun to do a project inspired by Star Wars. Specifically, inspired by Leia's hologram message. We'll be learning how to make a hologram projector, how to draw something to use with your hologram projector, and finally, I'll explain a bit of the science behind how holograms work. We've got a lot of fun things planned for today, so let's go ahead and get started. Some of you might be wondering, what is a hologram? Well, it's basically a picture that looks three-dimensional even without wearing 3D glasses. To make our hologram, we'll need to make a hologram projector that looks like this. You'll need some thin clear plastic. I'm using plastic from a berry container, a permanent marker, a template, scissors, and some clear tape. You'll also need a tablet or smartphone. I'll be including a link to the template in the description. And you'll notice that this template includes both a tablet and a smartphone size. I'm going to be using the tablet because it'll show up better on camera, but you should use whichever one works with the technology you have at home. Cut out the template for the phone or tablet. And instead of cutting out all four of these little triangle shapes, you really only need to cut out one. That's because we'll simply trace this pattern four times to make the four sides of our projector. So grab your plastic and look for a clear area without any writing. I'm going to be using the top of my berry container. And I actually ended up using two of these berry containers because I needed more plastic to make all four pieces. So if you're also using a berry container with the template for the tablet, you might need two containers. Next, go ahead and place your template on the clear plastic. I made sure to place mine in the corner here so that I could fit another pattern on the other side. Now trace your pattern with your marker and grab your scissors to cut out this pattern. Now repeat this four times until you have the four sides of your projector. If your pieces still have a bit of marker on the sides, feel free to clean the edges to get rid of that extra marker. Finally, we're going to be using our clear tape to tape the sides of our pieces together and make a pyramid. Now, I think the easiest way to do this is to grab a piece of tape that's about as long as the side, place it on the side so half is on the plastic and half is hanging over then line up the other piece of plastic and stick it to the tape that was hanging over the edge. And as you can see, that holds everything in place. And we're just going to repeat that with our other sides. As you do, make sure that the top and bottom edges of each piece line up. And if one piece is taller than the other, I recommend lining up the bottom edge. You can always trim the top if needed. Finish by taping the last two sides together to create this pyramid-like shape with the top cut off. Now it is ready to use. Once you've finished making your projector, test that it will sit flat on top of your screen. If it doesn't sit flat, you may need to do a little extra tweaking. You can untape and retape the sides to see if you can get it to lay flat, and if that doesn't work, 
you can fold it up like this and cut straight across this short side. Just make sure that your cut is going straight across. It should be parallel to the bottom because if you cut it at an angle, it really won't sit flat. All right, so now that we've finished our projector, let's test it out. Simply place your projector in the middle of a hologram video. You can find lots of these hologram videos on YouTube and I'll include a playlist of some of my favorites in the description. Now I wanted to show you what the hologram looks like from the side and from the top, so enjoy this split clip. Now some of you are probably thinking, those videos are pretty cool, but can I draw my own picture to use as a hologram? Well, the answer is yes. You'll just need to make a drawing like this, which features four identical drawings on some dark paper. To draw one, you'll need a piece of dark paper, a ruler, a pencil, scissors, and something that writes well on dark paper, like a gel pen, a paint pen, a chalk crayon, or a metallic sharpie. The first thing we'll need to do is prepare our paper. And so I'm going to start by cutting the paper into a square. Now the short side of my paper is nine inches. So I'm going to cut the paper at a nine inch square. So to do this, I'm going to mark nine inches on the long side. And I'm actually going to do this by putting nine on the end and then marking the other side of the ruler. And do the same thing on the other side. Then I can put my ruler between those two marks and draw my straight line. And this will tell me what I need to cut off of the black paper to end up with a square. Pencil lines can be kind of hard to see, but if you just get it in the right light, you should be able to see where your pencil mark is. Now go ahead and cut off that extra bit. And now with my remaining square, I'm going to draw an X. Now my paper is a little bit longer than my ruler, so I'm just going to sort of eyeball it here, but you could also grab a longer measuring tool if you, like me, need one. So I've placed the ruler across the diagonals, drew one, then I'm moving it to the other diagonals and drawing another line. And you can now see that this X on my paper goes right through the middle. And I'm going to draw one picture in each of the four triangles. And remember that all of these pictures will need to be identical. So I decided to mark one inch from the middle of the X and then one inch above that, so I end up with these two little marks that I can use to make sure I'm placing my picture in the same location each time. I decided to draw a star, so I'm starting my star on the bottom mark, bringing it up to the top mark, and then finishing it up. You can draw whatever you want here, but simple drawings are probably the easiest to reproduce, and if you happen to be writing a word, you'll need to actually write that word backwards so the letters are going the right way in your reflection. All right, so now I'm just using my ruler to mark out the same location so I can draw the rest of my stars. And remember that your drawings need to be identical when that picture is rotated around the point where the lines cross. So if I drew a rocket like this, which is pointed up and to the right, 
it would look like this if I rotated it a quarter turn. Now in that top box, I can draw a rocket that looked exactly the same, pointing up and to the right. Continue rotating your paper a quarter turn and adding an identical picture to the top triangle until all four of your pictures have been drawn. The result will look something like this. And here's what my final star picture looks like. Notice how all four stars are identical if you spin them around the point where the lines cross. When your picture is complete, you'll want to take a picture of it with your smartphone or tablet. Make sure that it is as centered as possible when you take the picture. And now you can use it to make your hologram. And my final tip for you is to take your device, go into the settings, and change the brightness of the screen. You actually want it to be as dark as possible. Then take your tablet into your darkened room and test it out. In addition to a still image, you can also turn an animation into a hologram. I'll include some links in the description with different ways to do this depending on what kind of technology you have at home. And finally, you may be wondering, how does a hologram work? Well, I should start off by saying there are different kinds of holograms that work different ways. The kind of hologram we made today works by reflecting an image off of a clear surface set at a 45 degree angle. So let's say this is our hologram. The light from the screen travels up and is reflected on the plastic. This reflected image travels to our eyes, making it look like there is an image inside of our projector. When the images from all four sides are combined, it looks like a 3D object inside of our projector. This effect is sometimes known as Pepper's ghost because a man named Henry Pepper used it to create a ghost special effect on stage. This is still used in theaters today to create ghosts on stage, and it's also used in some haunted houses, such as Disney's Haunted Mansion. We hope you enjoyed learning how to make your own holograms. So if you make one to celebrate May the 4th or just for fun, we'd love to see it. So please take a picture and share it with us at the library. You can do so through our Facebook at www.facebook.com slash FHCPL through our Instagram our handle is at FHCPL, or you can send us an email. Our email address is makerspace at finleylibrary.org, and we hope you join us again next week for a brand new video. See you then. Bye!